Hello, people of God. I had to apologize for the fact that I'm going to wear the same dress so I can upload. <laughs> Let me use that term. What is on my mind and finish yes, the, the train of thoughts. This is my Jacob's Way TV, and I'm the P2P singer. Mm, this is episode 164, just like I said. Now, as at the time that Albert was, um, when Elijah Unidundu called me to report Al Albert to me, to say Albert had stolen something from his landlady. Remember? And I had said to, to Elijah that I will listen to one side to make my judgment. I will listen to Albert as well. As at that time, I was expecting Albert himself to contact me. You know, everybody knew that Albert was with me. And if something had happened to him, I would have been the one that would be picked up by, by the law. So it was important that I knew that he was safe. And Albert did not call me. I waited for almost three days, four days, five days. I was getting very angry. Finally, when he called, he apologized to me. He apologized to me. But it was not good enough. You know how sometimes somebody apologizes and you still think that the person did not do a good job. You should not have done it in the first instance. He had yet, he was yet to come. I was yet to see him. But he had apologized on the phone and said to me, Mommy, somehow I'm going to show up. I don't know how, but I'm going to show up. I was still upset. I told my husband, why would this guy put me in this mess? I don't even know where he was calling from. I don't, I, can, I don't know if I could believe him that he was still in the village. When all the villagers had said that they had not seen him. The village people can also come and look for me and put me in the hands of the law. I was upset and uptight. I went to bed one day, very distraught. I handed the matter to the Lord. And I had this dream that I can never forget. An in-law of mine in the dream came from Iwo. If you know my husband's family background well, you know they have um, a relationship with Iwo. Even though my husband is from River State, their maternal grandmother is from Iwo. So my in-law came from Iwo in a dream and brought me a herb. He brought me a herb and told me that this herb is difficult to find anywhere in Nigeria, but he was able to find it. And since he knew that I am somebody who is interested in herbs generally, he thought he should bring it for me. He told me how to prepare it. I was very grateful. And I handed the herbs to my maid, to my ward in the house, in the dream. And I also passed the instruction of preparation to her. And I asked her, do you understand? And she said she understood. But before I knew it, while she was preparing it, blending it and getting it ready, she had spilled it. Almost three quarters of it was gone. I was upset. I was angry. I was angry. I said, but you heard that this thing is so difficult to find. And somebody now brought it all the way from the wall to me. I said, what you do? You have spilled it. It's, it's, it's spent. It's gone. I was upset. And my maid kept saying, I'm sorry, ma. I'm sorry, ma. I'm sorry, ma. But the sorry was not good enough for me. I was still angry. But then soon, you know how dreams are. We were all supposed to have gone to a party. That was my husband's family party. My husband's people are quite social people. And the man that came from Iwo was also supposed to be at that party. Soon I was dressed and I was at the venue of the party. It looked as if you have to, you have to queue up. You have to queue up, you know, for you to be recognized and before you are allowed to go into the hall. So I was on the queue. And before I knew it, I had seen my maid, the same one who spilled the herbs. 
I wasn't expecting her at the venue of the party. She wasn't invited. She has stressed like she wasn't she wasn't my ward anymore. You know how you would dress if you know your madame is around. She was dressed in a way that was displeasing to me. So I accused her, what are you doing here? She said, well, I've been begging you since. And you didn't answer me, so I assume that you have sacked me. So I, I am on my own. I can dress the way I want. Yes, I was still talking to her without realizing. I was, I, I, without, I mean, I was standing and backing a pillar. A pillar that's, you know, big pillar. I was in front of the venue. And before I knew it, while well, I was still talking to her and scolding her, and she had this very naughty attitude towards me. I was pleading with you, and you did not answer me. I begged you, you didn't answer me. Do you think I deliberately spilled the herbs? And so, it was as if the pillar sucked me in. The pillar sucked me in without, without anybody realizing it. And it was as if I was going inside a tunnel, a very long tunnel in a very high speed. But somebody was holding me in his arms. I did not see his face. But I knew it was the Lord Jesus. We were swimming in the tunnel. I can't call it swimming. We were, we were flying, but in, in a in a in a in a lying, I was lying on my side. And he held me from behind. I knew it was the Lord, it was larger than me. I was just like a little baby in his arms. And I knew it was the Lord Jesus. And the Lord said to me, you are still angry at your maid. And I said to him, Lord, can you imagine something as, as much of a treasure as that, the herbs that is difficult to find in the whole of Nigeria, that the Lord sent to me, see what she has done with the herbs. And the Lord said, but she had apologized to you. She has apologized to you. He said, what is wrong with my people? That you cannot forgive each other. She has apologized to you. She didn't do it deliberately. Have you forgotten my words that say you should forgive your brother 70 times, seven times a day? He said, you had to apologize to you. You should remove your eyes. Of course, there was nothing I could say again. Then, he now said to me, my daughter, one of the reasons why I came to look for you is to tell you. So you will start telling people that they have forgotten the words that I spoke when I was on the earth. He said, they are no more quoting me. They are no more following all the things I said. He said, they are quoting other parts of the scripture, but they are not talking about what I said. He said, but I'm the Christ, and I'm the Messiah, and I'm the Word. Go and remind my people of all the words that I have spoken. He said, please, I'm asking you to do this for me, because my people have forgotten my words. Remind them when you preach. Remind them when you sit down with people. Tell them that the words that, that came out of my mouth, they are spirit and they are life. And then somehow, we turned back. Now swimming, it was, I didn't think we were in the water. It was like we were in the air, but we were in the tunnel. tunnel. I, I can't remember how we now made a U-turn. And we had to return. He returned me to the pillar that he picked me from. Nobody noticed that I had disappeared. And I came back to my standing position. It was time for me to go in, so I went in. And I sat at table with some of my in-laws. And I was telling them in that, in that party, in the dream, did you not see the Lord Jesus come for me? And they said, no, we did not notice. Did you not notice that I disappeared for a while? They said, no, they did not notice. Did you, are you sure? You didn't know when I came back, they said they did not notice. So they were surprised. Some of them were saying, what did the Lord say? What did the Lord say? And I repeated what he said to, to them. The Lord said, you should forgive people who have trespassed against us. 
because those were his own necessary words. Those were his own particular words. And he said that we seem to have forgotten all his words. He quotes all other parts of the scripture, but his words. We seem to have forgotten that he said things like, look at the, this, the, the log in your own eyes before looking at the speck in the other person's eyes. We all seem to have forgotten all the things that he told us in the beautitudes. And that beautitudes, or some people call it beatitudes, but I think that word is from beauty. I don't know. I will call it beautitudes. All those things. When somebody slaps you on one cheek, turn the other. He said, my people have forgotten my words. I am the Messiah. I am the Savior. I am the one who came from heaven to earth. And they are quoting all the parts of the scripture, which is not bad. But they should not forget what I came to see when I came to the world. And you know one of, his, one of the things that Jesus said, that I'm yet to understand fully, is, for God did not send his son to the world to judge the world, but that, that through him the world might be saved. And it reminds me of the song we used to sing in school, in the scripture union group in those days. He did not come to judge the world. He did not come to blame. He did not only come to seek. It was to say we came. And when we call him Savior, and when we call him Savior, and when we call him Savior, then we call him by his name. This is my Jacob's Way TV. I'm Dupi Dupi singer. Do not be surprised if I start the next episode with the same song because it is quite relevant. And please let the message of this particular episode be that we all return to the very words of the Lord Jesus and imbibe them because they are spirit and they are life. God bless you. Subscribe, hit the notification bell, um, leave a comment. Share and do all the needful. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.